Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to tell you about book titles that have been changed into Swedish. Maybe for the better, maybe for the worse, maybe just really really random. We will see, but anyways, that's what we're gonna do today. So if you're new to this channel, you don't really know me, and if you have been here for a while, you maybe know me, and you maybe know this, that I am a little bit weird today, and it's because I'm basically half sick. My body hurts everywhere, and my throat hurts really badly, so if I speak weird, it's because of that, because it really hurts to talk, but I really had to film this video, and I wanted to as well, so here we are anyway, but what don't I do for my YouTube, so anyways, let's just get started. <laughs> have like 12 book titles that I want to talk about. Some, as I said, I think are maybe good, some are just totally weird, and some are just worse, basically. So anyways, let's just get started. The first book I want to talk about is Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. This is a book that I was so shocked when I first heard what it was in Swedish, or it, I mean, it wasn't that it's like a really, really weird title, but it's just weird and I don't know why they translated it like that because it was totally unnecessary. Anyways, the book is, as I said, is named Me Before You in English, while when they translated it to Swedish, they chose to call it Livet Efter Dig, which translated into English is Life After You, and I don't know if you all have read me before you, but life after you really doesn't make any sense. Me before you kind of makes sense because it's like they change each other for the better in the book and stuff like that. But life after you really doesn't fit the first book. Maybe I haven't read the second book yet. I'm planning to, but I still haven't done it. But just that the first book is named life after you just really doesn't make any sense so i just don't know why they did not just translate it correctly maybe for you in swedish that will be dog for day i i guess and i mean that doesn't sound horrible so i am just confused why they translated it like that you know the next book or the book title that has changed is percy jackson and the lightning thief by rick riordan in swedish this book is called percy jackson for some Yerte which means Percy Jackson, born a hero. And I guess that is a good title, but I just don't see why it was necessary to change the title. Why didn't it just be Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief? It would have been Percy Jackson och Blitzschuven on Swedish, but yeah, I, I guess that title doesn't sound that good in Swedish, but I'm, I'm just, why did you have to change it? Like, yeah, I just don't really get it. I, get, I mean, it's a good change in a way, but I just don't get why you had to change it, you know? And this is also another book of Rick's that have been translated weird, or kind of weird. Uh, most of the books are kind of similar to the real translation, but this, these two are the ones that I chose to pick. There are also some others that are not really correct. But this is The Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan, the fan obviously. It's in the Heroes of Olympus series. In Swedish, the book is called En Feinstadig Guden, which means the captured or imprisoned god. And if you have read the book, it describes well what the book is about, but I just don't understand why it was necessary to change the whole title. Like, it could have just been The Son of Neptune, but I kind of get that they changed it because in Swedish it would have been Neptunus Son? Nep yeah? And that isn't really that catchy, so I kind of get it, but still, like, yeah, why, you know? Okay, so the fourth book is a book that I think is a very weird translation, but in a way I also get it, and it's Six of Crows by Labor Dugo. You all have probably read this book, it's a very popular book, it's a very great book, I have read it myself. And in Swedish it's called Hooked Spiel, which means high game. 
And I kind of get that you didn't want to translate Six of Crows because in English it sounds kind of catchy, you know, Six of Crows. I don't really get the title to be honest because it's Six of Crows and then it will be Six of Krokur. That's just so weird. So I, I totally get that they changed the name though, like, it could have still been something with Krokur or... Sorry, it should have still been something with Kraus or you know something like that or six, but they just changed it to high game. Yeah, I'm just like kind of twisted about that, you know. So yeah. The next one we have is one that I really don't understand. I haven't read the book. I actually have it in my bookshelf, but I haven't read it. Um, and if you have followed me, you know it's by a series I don't really enjoy that much and it's The Raven Cycle by Maggie Stevewater and this book that are translated weird, the first two books, I don't know about the fourth one, but the first two books are translated quite correctly, but the third book is called Blue Lily, Lily Blue in English and in Swedish it's called Suovarna, which means the sleepers. And I don't know why the title is named the Lily Blue Lily Lily Blue in English. It's kind of a weird title, I guess, but I guess it has to have something to do with the book. I don't know, I haven't read it as I said. But it just that is a completely different like title. I I just don't really understand neither of them. I don't understand Blue Lily Lily Blue and I don't understand the sleepers as it was in English. So that all is just kind of weird. Then we actually have a series that I want to talk about that are translated, or the title is translated really weirdly. Um, in English, the series is called Graceling by Christine Kashor. In Swedish, it's called The Utvalda by Christine Kashor. And The Utvalda basically means the selected. Uh, so that's not the same and anyways the first book in english is called graceling just as the series in swedish it's called tankelasaren which means the thought reader or the mind reader uh so that's a total different title but wait just it gets worse the second book is called fire in english but in swedish it's not called eld as it would have been if you just translate fire into swedish but instead it's called Monstrets Dotter, which means the monster's daughter, which I, I, I have read the book, so I understand that title, but I just don't understand why it was necessary to not just name it the Swedish word of fire, you know? So yeah, that's weird. And the last book of the series is called Bitter Blue in English, while in Swedish it's called which means the secrets empire so that's just like because the girl in the book is called bitter blue so it makes sense that it's called bitter blue but they was just like nah let's not call it that let's call it the secrets empire instead like i'm i'm, I'm just very really confused but i i guess it's a good title for the book but i still don't just get why they don't just translate it like you know, the original title. Okay, so now we only have four left, and the last fourth one is Everything Everything by Nicola June. In Swedish, it's called Ingenting och Allting, which is nothing and everything. And this is just a translation that I really don't get. I haven't read this book, I will say, but I just don't get why you didn't just translate it Everything Everything, be because you included the word everything, you know? You said nothing and everything. Why didn't you just translate it into everything, everything? You know? Like, alting, alting. Like, I mean, I guess, anything or alting sounds better. It's a better title. I would say that nothing and everything would be a better title for the book. I haven't read it. But, you know, nothing and everything sounds better than everything, everything, I think. Like, why just not translate it everything, everything, you know? Next up, we also have Nicola Jude, and it's The Sun is also a star. And in Swedish, it's called Idag är allt, which is Today is Everything, which is nothing at all. Like, the title, if you have read the book, the title makes sense, but, like, what? You could have just translated it into The Sun is also a star, or translated into Swedish would be Solen är också en stjärna. 
Uh, and I don't think that title sounds very wrong. I think that's a kind of pretty title. So, a dog got out or today is everything. I just thought that sounded weird. Like, why didn't you just translate it like the normal, you know? Now we only have two left. And in last place, we have one that is very known in Sweden as being a weird translation. But before that, we have Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Neven. In Swedish, it's called Vända världen rätt which means turn the world right. I just don't understand why they had to change it to turn the world right. They could have just had holding up the universe. That would be in Swedish, Holder up universum, I guess. And I just don't see why they didn't just have that title. Like, it's kind of as ugly or as good, you know? So, uh, yeah, I'm just... I just don't really understand, but okay. Now we are on to the last title, and as I said, this is a title that a lot, it, it was talked about a lot in Sweden while this book was released, and also this movie was released, and it's The Fall in Our Star by John Green. So this book is called The Fall in Our Stars, but in Swedish, they decided to change it into something well, I'm just gonna tell you what it is. They chose to call it Förr eller senare exploderar jag. Which means sooner or later I will explode. And I guess that is a good title, but it has nothing to do with the fall in our stars. The fall in our stars, sooner or later I will explode. It's not a, even a bit alike. And that got a bit of drama in Sweden or like people talked about it. Everybody was just confused why they didn't just call it The Fallen Our Stars because it's in Swedish that would have been Fjellet i våra stjärnor which is, I think that is a pretty title for being in Swedish then, obviously. So yeah, that was just a big thing back then when the movie was out and the book was out and everybody was just like, why the hell is the name Sooner or Later I Will Explode when it's called The Fallen Our Stars in English, you know? So that was just very weird like everybody thought that was kind of weird and I totally agree I, because I think Fjellet i våra stjärnor is a good title to be honest. Okay so that was all the books or the titles that I had to talk about. I don't know if you like videos like this like when I kind of compare Swedish and English. I think as a Swede it's very fun to watch either Swedish people do this or English speaking people do this with Swedish and I think it's very fun you know but I don't know if you think it's fun to watch since like many of you probably don't speak Swedish and I don't know if it's interesting to you or not but yeah anyways that was all the books I had I will now go and sleep drink some tea even though I don't like tea and don't hate me in the comments I just really don't like tea I have tried I have tried but coffee is my thing, okay? But yeah, anyways, I will try to rest and sleep and get better. And hopefully in the next video, I will be better. Anyways, that was all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!